I will be honest. I did not need this. Okay, well, listen. <laughs> oh, yes, she is. I got to finish getting home. Everything you need. <laughs> it depends on who you are. She was crying when she was crying, laughing, or like crying. Like, crying. Crying. Then crying, crying, crying and laughing. There was the a video. Was really the video ended very solemnly. Mr. Ebright's limp went. The movie was good. Joe, you missed out. You could have just added in to it and made it worse. <laughs> yes, Andrew. Yes, Andrew. Andrew. I made Lily cry. Andrew. I made Lily cry. No, I <laughs> Are we going to watch the John Travolta movie? Why not? Right. <laughs> Wait, what John Travolta movie? Uh, it's about a court case. All right. Speaking of court cases, where is this? Oh, 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 I don't know. Okay, we've already talked about this, but it, it bears repeating some of it, okay? Uh, so, uh, we talked about crops yesterday, yes? And soybeans and stuff like that. Soil conserving crops, yes? Yes. Okay. And, um, so to get around that, they do that, okay? Now, I don't know if you know this or not, they are still paying farmers today not to plant crops, okay? Um, now, Supreme Court's going to limit the powers of the SEC, which is the Securities and <laughs> Ex Environment. Exchange <laughs> Commission. You might want to know that, okay? Well, they will strike down the minimum wage as unconstitutional. SEC what? No, the Supreme Court. And so we get this. Talked about this about a week ago. They have to. Roosevelt was going to do what to the court? Pack it. And because of that threat to pack the court. Two of the judges that were over the age of 70 in time to say not. Yes? Yes. Now, before all that went down, the whole court packing scheme, Roosevelt and Congress passed the Government's Contracts Act. Now, who builds Air Force One for the president? Who builds Air Force One? What kind of plane is it? It's a Boeing. Boeing builds Air Force One. Yes? In fact, if you Google that, when Trump was president, they wanted to build a new one for him. At the cost of like, I don't know, five billion dollars or something. And Trump's like, no, 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 no. We're not spending all that money on one plane. Okay? Now, so Boeing has a contract with the government, yes? Because if Boeing wants that contract, governments can tell Boeing, this is how much you're going to pay your employees if you want this government contract. That's one way to get around the minimum wage, being overturned as unconstitutional. You follow me? Government contract. And the government still does that today, by the way. So if you want government contracted work and the government tells you you got to do something in order to get that contract, you got to do it. Or you can say, screw your contract, I'm not doing that. But most don't because you know what? You can come in late and over budget and the government's still going to pay you. Yes? Okay. This would improve working. Okay, Labor Secretary would set minimum wages, max hours for this government contract as well. Okay, Secretary of Labor. Who's the Secretary of Labor? She? The chick. The chick. Francis. Francis? Bell Perkins. Francis Perkins. Are we talking about right now? Oh. She's on the test. Okay. The Secretary of Labor. Yeah, Francis Perkins. 
uh, Secretary of Labor under Roosevelt, the first female cabinet member in American history. That one. So she's in my notes. Mm. Uh, first page. Okay, now, I thought my students would like to know, well, there's a lot of unconstitutional things here. How much more is unconstitutional than average? Yes? Yes. You want to know that? Yes. Now, the lower line here, the light blue, are federal laws. The dark blue are state and local laws that have been declared unconstitutional. So right here, this is the decade we're looking at here. So you see in here, so the 20s and 30s, you saw quite a few, more than average, yes? Yeah. Now, when you look here, and especially here, these are Jim Crow laws. Segregation, okay? Uh, these deal with, like, some immigration laws and uh, stuff like that, okay? Not really sure exactly what all those state and local laws would have been, but some of them could have been Jim Crow as well. I don't know. Okay. And then you look here, this decade of 90 to 99, quite a few unconstitutional. Okay. Way more than normal. Okay. Now, check this out. Look at this decade 40 to 49, almost zero. Why? War. You guys, when we're at war, the power goes to the executive. When there's a crisis, yes? Uh, so the Supreme Court just kind of looks the other way. we got to win the war. So if we need to round up Japanese Americans without charging them with a crime and put them in camps, then we're going to do it. Okay. All right. Roosevelt was ele elected in 32, originally. He defeated Herbert Hoover. Yes? It's time for a new election. Okay? 1936. Now, FDR, others felt the New Deal had been a success to this point. Now remember, Germany's out of the Depression in 1936. We're not. Okay? June industrial production was up to 1923-25 levels. Farm income was way up. Cash bonuses, yes. Weekly wages were up. Unemployment had dropped from 12 million to 7 million. The depression is not over, but FDR is popular. Republicans have no, no chance, and they know it. So they got to pick somebody to run, Republican. Now, back in this day, my former government student, the parties tended to choose the candidates, not through primary elections or caucuses. The parties would choose the candidates. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So they're going to pick the governor of Kansas to run, the Republican. <laughs> not yet. Bob Dole's just a young man right now. Okay. Bob Dole's about. 13 or 14 years old. Eisenhower's a little older, but that's not going to be until after the war. Okay. Any guys going to K-State? Yeah. Do I get more now? Um, when you're K-State next year, um, every year they do this, what's called the Landon Lecture Series, where they invite faculty and students to come to a speech that is brought that's given by somebody famous, you know, like a former president or something like that, okay? And they call it the Landon Lecture Series, named after the former governor of Kansas, Alf, or Alfred, Alf, they called him, Landon. Okay, there he is. Good looking guy. Any guys ever uh, seen the TV show Leave it to Beaver? Kind of like Ward Cleaver, okay, the dad. He's just got this wholesome look, you know. He's a nice looking guy, I guess. Dead father figure looking guy. Now, he knows he's not going to win. He is opposed to the New Deal, but he's not going to attack it. 
So here's my campaign ad running for president in 1936. I am against security for old people that when they retire, I'm against giving them income when they pay into the system. We should not be doing that. That's going to get me some votes. Yes? Yes. yes we should not help the unemployed. What are we doing? You know, you know what I mean? You, you, you're not going to do this. You're not going to win. Okay? But guys, this is a freaking landslide. Poor Alf Landon will not even win his home state of Kansas. <laughs> now, what's interesting here, guys, because we are in a depression, you will see more radical groups start to rise. You have a socialist candidate named Norman Thomas. Now, this guy ran for president, I think, four times, like Biden. You had a Communist Party candidate, a Union Party candidate, okay? And Roosevelt's going to win every state but two. Maine and Vermont. Now, to you, this may seem like the largest landslide in American history. Washington oh. was unanimous. <laughs> Reagan won all but 13 electoral college. Just Minnesota, one state, 84. Uh, Reagan in 84 ran against Mondale, who was from Minnesota. Uh, Massachusetts was Nixon, oh, yeah. who ran against... Uh, Okay. So, yeah, I mean, guys, this is a landslide, all right? Now, Roosevelt is so popular, he's going to have what's called, in a political science sense, coattails. Did I explain that to you guys in government? Coattails? Okay. So, this spring, many of you guys are going to go to prom, yes? And speaking more to the gentleman here. You're gonna, most of you will get a tux, yes? And now back in the 80s, when I went to prom three times, at least one of the times I went to prom, not the tux, I got tails with my tux, you know, like coattails. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, like you're the, kidding. Like the yeah, yeah, coattails. Now, oh, you're right, it's in a broadcast. Yeah, go search for the broadcast. Oh, is it a broadcast? Yeah. Me and Maureen. Oh, yeah. Maureen. Maureen. I'll tell you that story one day. What's that? Lily's never heard of it. You don't know Maureen. I thought Maureen was a psycho. She's kind of psycho. Yeah. I think you You've already brought it up, but you have to tell me. Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it won't make Lily cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched it, and that was so sad. Poor Lily. I need that. Yeah, it's all right. I can't pause. You paused it last time? I stopped it. Oh, that's enough. I'll walk right through. <laughs> <laughs> Missing a 10 minute 